So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here, ladies and gentlemen. What I want to remind you of is a quadratic function. Remember, we talked about a quadratic function can always be written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, right? Because as long as it's in quadratic form, we know that a cannot be 0. But we can always write it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Wendy, you need to be writing this down right here. Yeah, OK? All right, good. So actually, I didn't write it down last class, so gotcha. Yeah, uh, all right, so but for what I'm going through here. So on your, but you need to have your hand in on your pencil, not in your lap. There you go. Always the same time. Should never leave your desk. There you go. So here we go. The quadratic function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And the i's need to be up here, Wendy. Wendy. I know. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about two different um, parts of our quadratic. All right. Now we talked about the shape of the quadratic as a parabola, which we called our u-shaped graph. Right. Well, and then we talked about the maximum and the minimum value. And it was pretty basic. Right. We was pretty basic to determine when our graph, that's a horrible marker, when our vertex was a maximum or a negative value. Because obviously, if you guys look at it, if you guys look at this graph, you can definitely tell that when it opens down, I have a maximum value. I don't have a minimum value because these points go down to infinity, right? And if my graph opens up, then I have a minimum value of my vertex because there's no maximum as it goes up to infinity. So that's something we looked at as on a graph. And what we noticed was these are what we called our vertexes, right? That was in your last definition. We talked about our vertexes. So how do we determine just algebraically if our graph is going to be maximum minimum without graphing it? Well, here's, the, here's our rule. If A is greater than 0. So when you take your quadratic and you look at the coefficient of your quadratic term in your quadratic term, which is going to be A, when A is greater than 0, the y value of your vertex is your minimum value. All right? So the y value of vertex is now going to be your y is going to be the minimum y value of your vertex. All right? Cuz if you look at this, if a is greater than 0, that means my graph is going to open upwards. And then so this point right here, my vertex, all right, the vertex is going to be the minimum point on my parabola. Or the y value of your vertex is going to be your minimum value or your minimum y value. I can just write y value. All right, and then let's take a look at it. What about if a was less than 0? Remember, a cannot equal 0. But if a was less than 0, then the y value of your vertex is your maximum y value of your parabola. And I'm just going to kind of write it. So if you look at it, if a was less than 0, what that means is now your parabola is going to open down. And the y value is going to be the maximum y value of the parabola. Does that kind of make sense? All right. So ladies and gentlemen, what I, the reason why I want to tell you that is because, yeah, the graph, it makes sense. You guys can easily look at that and say, oh, the vertex is here. The vertex is there. That's a maximum. That's a minimum. But if I erase this and I just say f of x equals negative 7x squared plus 5x plus 4, and then I'd say f of x equals 1 fourth x squared plus 5. And I say, what is, do I have a maximum or a minimum? Well, you guys need to algebraically look at this. First of all, you say, what is your a? My a in this case is negative 7, right? So you could say a is equal to negative 7. And is that less than 0 or greater than 0? You could say a is less than 0, right? So therefore, this, I'm going to have my vertex. I don't know where the vertex is for this problem yet. I didn't figure that out. But I do know that my vertex is going to be a minimum value. 
No, wait a minute. That's a is less than 0, right? It's going to be a maximum 0. All right, I'm sorry. My vertex is going to be a maximum value. Yes? So if 5x is over Switch what? Remember your A, remember when we talked about last class period, we talked about quadratic terms, linear term, and constant term, right? Your quadratic term is going to be your variable that's raised to the second power and that has your coefficient, which is A. When using this test, what we could call like the leading coefficient test, or if it's going to open up or down, we're only going to look at A is going to be the only one we're going to test. So we're not going to test our linear or our quadratic because um, we're just going to look at A. So therefore, negative 7, since that's less than 0, less than 0, we have a maximum value. Here, we look at 1 fourth. Is 1 fourth greater than or less than 0? Greater than, right? So you could say A is greater than 0. Therefore, I know my vertex is now going to be a minimum value. I don't know what it is. We'll, out, we'll learn how to do that again. But it, I know it's going to be at least a minimum value. OK? All right, you guys look so excited. Looks like I just do. All right, guess I have.